Hundreds of children are receiving a much needed stroke of good luck. This is really important for us to, to let them like forget the, the trauma they, they felt before they, we came here and um, let them to try to really uh, cure this themselves. Since October 7th, these kids from Skerot's religious community have been cooped up and living out of a suitcase in the Ramada Hotel in Jerusalem. Here we provide three meals a day. We arrive to an extreme of between 1,500 to 600, 1,600 guests, which we have to prepare breakfast, lunch, dinner, meaning about 5,000 meals a day. It's a huge operation. And the dedicated staff and team of volunteers have been lifesavers. Uh, it was my, my career. As a, I had a school of teaching swimming. When I started the war in uh, 7 uh, October, I was thinking, what can I do? Do something for the people. So I come to the, this hotel. How, how does it feel to know that you're teaching these kids how to swim? Wonderful, wonderful. I, uh, it's it's give me a lot of emuna, uh, simcha uh, when I see the kids uh, very happy and uh, learn to swim. A few days a week, both girls and boys have been getting free swimming lessons, and the free time for moms has also been a godsend. She didn't know how to swim, and she's like about 10 years old, and she was really afraid of water. She feels that so self-esteem that she overcome on her challenge, and um, I think it was big wow. Also, my five-year-old boy, you know, for the first time, it was amazing to see uh, that a young boy like him uh, knows how to swim. Even me, I don't know how to swim. <laughs> You're next, Mom. Bezat Hashem. <laughs> and the kids even have stylish, colorful swimwear to boot. All thanks to a Canadian-Israeli couple with generous hearts. We wanted to help Am Yisrael to do what we can to, to help. Uh, you know, we don't know Hebrew very well. We approach the hotels with the religious community because they'd be the ones who'd be concerned about wearing the proper kind of swimwear. Marcy Rapp and her husband Harold began Marcy Modest Swim and Casual Wear when they moved to Israel over a decade ago. But since October 7th, the volunteers and Ramada's events and sales manager, Yaakov Kessler, called and the couple went into high gear. And he wanted us to provide around 250 pieces for like for 250 children of uh, Ramada for boys and girls with the Ramada logo on it so that the Ramada could give the kids swimming lessons. And it's fitting to note that all the swimwear is manufactured in Jerusalem by an Arab Israeli family. They're a very, very good family and they're very helpful and they seem to like working with us. And what is your message to people that, you know, are accusing us of being apartheid and all of this stuff. Israel is not apartheid. They do not genocide. We have a, a great economic relationship with our manufacturer, and uh, he does a lot of uh, very good thing mitzvot for us. And uh, together as a team, we were able to produce this within three days. So, for this sink or swim moment in Israel's history, I, I think it's part of therapy for them to make them release all the negative um, feelings they came here. We try to make this a period of time to look and, and, and remember it is a, is a positive experience. Time will tell when the steroid evacuees can go back home and tourism can return. Steroid, will they go home? When will they go home? So first of all, that has to settle. Once it settles, then the next thing is the airlines. When are they going to fly back? Hopefully, from previous experience, uh, tourism comes back quite quickly. What does quickly mean? Months, we hope.